Hey everybody, this is Tony Glenn, and um, I'm going to talk to you today about just some basic real-world editing in Adobe Premiere CS5, and uh, just kind of want to show you sort of my workflow for doing an interview. And you you may pick up on a few little cool tips if you're a longtime user of Adobe Premiere. Uh, you maybe know a whole lot of this stuff. If not, if you're a beginner, maybe this will help you all, uh, a bit out as we as you as you're perhaps putting together. Uh, interviews with people, which is what I do a whole lot here where I work at Blue Ridge Healthcare. And I also work for Cleveland County Healthcare System. What we're looking at is a piece of video from a very uh, excellent surgeon named Patrick Hayes down in Shelby, North Carolina. And Dr. Hayes is talking about a new certification that's been awarded to the uh, orthopedics uh, community down in Shelby for Cleveland Regional Medical Center, Cleveland County Healthcare System. So what I'm going to start with is Dr. Hayes' interview here, which is, was shot by one of my colleagues, a lady named Paula Vess. And here is the, uh, the video right here, Dr. Hayes' video interview. I'm going to pull this down on the timeline. So here, of course, we have our preview. Here we have the timeline with Dr. Hayes. And you can see as I scrub through, that's where we are. Now, one thing we found out over the years is that the audio from the camcorder, no matter what, how great a camcorder you're, you're using, does not sound that great. A lot of people will put lapel mics on folks. We find that not to work necessarily a whole lot better. Um, sometimes they sound pretty good, but then you gotta, then you got to negotiate uh, a wire and hooking all of that up. We like to use these little things. This is a Zoom H2 handy recorder. We put it on a tripod or put it on a stick beside or on a table, uh, maybe in front of them when they're recording. And this thing is fantastic. The audio sounds much better than what comes off of the camcorder. So what I'm going to do, first thing I want to do is I want to replace this audio here with Dr. Hayes. Let's, let's listen to how it sounds um, without uh, editing. This is what came straight off the camcorder. We're very excited that uh, Cleveland Regional has been selected by Taco as the first so as you can hear, there's a lot of background noise there. So what I have over here is Dr. Hayes' interview amplified. That's where I took the, the file that Paul recorded off the Zoom H2. I'm going to double click here. And it's much better audio. Now what we do, you'll see here, I've already got an endpoint here. Uh, when you first open this thing up, if I'd opened it up unedited, you'd see here's the whole audio wave of Dr. Hayes talking. Now I'm going to grab this little thing right here, this little end of this, right, and you can pull in and zoom in, you see. And what we always do, we'll do a hand clap, like a big hand clap at the beginning. We, we start the camera rolling, and then we start the audio recorder rolling, and we do a hand clap so we can synchronize visually the audio, the new audio to the uh, video. So here I can see as I drag across that I've got that hand clap right there. That's where Paula hit her hands. So I'm going to put an end, set an end point here with this tool. I'm going to grab the little audio thing here. And uh, I'm going to pull this down on this line. Now I can visually see here, I'm going to pull over here. I can see here on the video where she clapped her hands too. See that? So I'm going to pull this over to that so that it matches. Maybe a better way to have done this. I'll show you my, my more typical way of doing this. I'm going to turn the audio off here that it's pulled down. Let's get the audio. All right, there's the audio from uh, the video. So I'm going to pull this. I'm going to actually delete this for a second. Let's show this a little bit better. Close that up. I'm going to uh, click on this with my pointer tool. Delete it. I'm going to back out. I'm going to pull my line all the way back over to the beginning. I'm going to do a ripple delete. So the video slides back over. Now, now I know that that right there is where the audio starts. Now I can grab my audio from up here where I put my end point. I'm going to bring it down. And we're pretty close. We're with the, you see, we're down to a frame. So this is that's like half a frame different from here to there. Nobody will detect that at all when we're uh, playing back the video. So I'm going to first of all, let's just do a little A B test here, um, and uh, to see wh what sounds better. Now I can already see if you look here that this wave is much fatter and thicker than this one. So I didn't normalize this audio enough in Sound Booth. And I can show you how I, how I work with the uh, audio and sound booth on another video. But I'm going to click on this. We're going to boost the gain so it looks more like this one up here. Audio gain, I'm going to go maybe six decibels. That looks a pretty close to the same. I don't think I've, if I've peaked some places, I may want to back that audio off. Looks like I might have peaked here in places. Five decibels might have been better. Anyway, we're synced up. Let's do a little A-B test and see which one sounds better. You'll see why I've done this. 
So I've got the audio turned off. You see, you get the little toggle here. We can turn the audio on and off. I got the audio, the new audio turned off. The old audio is on. Let's do it. This is what the old audio sounds like again. We're very excited that uh, Cleveland Regional has been selected by Taco. Very uh, noisy. <laughs> now I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to turn the new one on. Here's what we sound like. We're very excited that uh, Cleveland Regional has been selected by Taco as the first hospital in the That's pretty dramatic difference. So I want to get rid of this audio, actually. I don't even need it around anymore. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to do an unlink here. So now the audio and video are separate. I'm going to delete this audio. I'm going to pull the new audio up. And I th think I'm going to, so I can edit uh, and not have to click on one and the other to, to make cuts. I'm going to just kind of pull across here. Just pull your across there to select both. And I'm going to right click on a link. So now the new audio is linked. So I can see here that Paul is asking a question at this point. And right here is actually where Dr. Hay starts to talk. So let's cut. I'm going to hit the C key. The C key. That turns my little tool into a cutting tool. I click there and you see it cuts both the audio and video because they're linked. I hit the V key. The V key turns me back into the pointer, the select key. Okay, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to ripple delete again. Now I want my video to start there, and it will. Oops, uh, look at this. I forgot to turn the audio back on. So now we'll be able to hear it. We're very excited that uh, Cleveland Regional has been selected by JACO as the first hospital in the state of North Carolina to receive special certification as a center of excellence for uh, joint replacement surgery in both hip, knee, and shoulder. And in fact, we're the first Okay, now one thing I can see already that I don't like about this video is I don't like this back here in the back. Now, there are different ways you could get rid of this. Uh, naturally, you could, you could copy this piece of video and put it over the top, create a mask, and pull mask uh, video down over the top of this. Uh, I really don't recommend that because you, you just forget how the difference in the gradations of a wall. I'll bet right now, just, just betting after years of experience, that if I were to take a clip of wall here and pull it down over the top of this to cover this up, uh, it's going to look bad. Uh, it, it's just not going to match up just the same. I'm, I'm not even going to go through the experiment of it. I just know that it will. The better way to do this is in Photoshop. Now, I've shot this in 1080p, so these are good quality uh, pieces, or Paul shot it in 1080p, good quality piece of video that I can grab a still capture from. I'm going to just real quickly scrub through this piece of video and see if Dr. Hayes ever moves his head over the top of this. Uh, you'll find out why in a minute. It's Looks like Dr. Hayes stays within the frame, uh, within that little, the whole way. It will look really good. So I'm going to pick any frame here before I go and do my little trick, which I'm going to do in Photoshop. I want to make sure I've got this looking the way I want it to look. And I can see it's a little dark there. The color's not really great. And I'm going to give you one of my little special tips for color correction. And, and, uh, and this, is, this is pretty quick, fast, and dirty little way to do this. If you type uh, over here, go over to your little effects search place and type in um, bright, B-R-I, you'll find brightness and contrast. Real quick, I'm going to put that on there, but before I do anything with that, I'm also going to do fast color corrector, F-A-S-T. Fast color corrector will come up. I'm putting both of those on here. I'm going to go to the effects control, and I'm going to first look at my brightness and contrast. I'm going to go ahead and open up fast color corrector as well. I'm just twirling these little things down. I'm going to go ahead and twirl down the uh, little arrows on brightness and contrast. I'm going to brighten them just a little. Now, typically, anytime I brighten somebody, I also do a little bit of contrast because you're going to lose some shadows. So I'm going to hit him just a little bit of contrast too, brighten him just a little bit more. We've got decent light in there. It's just not great light. Now, I don't, I'm not going to say that his tone is off tremendously, but his saturation is. So I'm going to go down here just to saturation. I'm going to twirl that forward, and I'm just going to go ahead and give this whole thing a little bit of flesh tone there. You see, it looks pretty nice. Dr. Hayes looks much better, I think. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll turn these off in a minute so you can see. I'm going to twirl it back up just to make it neater. Let me turn the, the little FX button turns these off. So let's look at before. Here, here's without the brightness. Here's without the saturation. See, it looks kind of gray. I hope you're able to see that on yours. So once again, I'm going to turn the brightness contrast on. And there we go. And he looks much better. He'll look much better throughout. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to address getting rid of this thing on the wall here. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot. Over here's your little export frame. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to say, uh, uh, that's Patrick Hayes' interview. Still 04 is what this is going to be called. 
and it's going to go into the proper folder. I'm going to say OK. It's going out as a JPEG. I'm going to go to Photoshop. I'm going to open that up. File, open. And here we go. I think that's 04 there. Beautiful. The reason I went through all that is I want to make sure I had my color correction done so I don't have to do the color correction later. Otherwise, what I'm getting ready to do would not have worked very well. Uh, uh, the color would have been harder to match on the wall. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just clone this out. Uh, let's take the clone tool. Let's get a reasonable size here. Yeah, a little bigger than that. I'm going to go to about maybe 100 pixel, 104. Now I'm going to try to find it, sections of wall that will cover that and, and be the same color, same tone. I'll pull from right in here again. What I'm doing, I'm alt clicking. Or I'm actually, yeah, alt click. That's where I'm going to pick the wall from and I'm going to paint over it. So there we go. Now we've got a nice frame, a, a photo frame, without the thing on the wall. And is this a dirty wall down here? It looks like it's kind of dirty. Maybe they need to clean that wall in that inner interview room. Let's go ahead and get rid of that too. Uh-oh, look at this. Look how much different the tone is. I'll do a control Z. Let's pull from a different area. Let's pull from over in here and see if we can get rid of that. Not so bad now. That wall's looking a lot better already. This was probably shot in just an old uh, interview room somewhere. I don't want now. I would like to get rid of this over here too. But his shoulder's pretty close to that. He might move that shoulder. Well, we're going we're to cover this up in a minute. Still, that's that's fairly acceptable. I might be able to get that. We'll try. It. Much much better looking. I'm gonna save that frame. So I'm gonna save it as a Photoshop PSD. Save. Now what we got? We have this where I've cloned out the problems in the wall. And I'm going to do a little select function here. I know that the thing on the wall is there. Okay, control C, control V. So right now I just placed that over the top of that. I know that one of the problems we had in the wall is down here. So I'm going to select, I'm going to go back to this background again. I'm going to select this little area, which was kind of messed up. I'm going to say control C, control V. I have another layer of that. Then this area over here was messed up, so I'm going to click over here, copy that. I'll say Control C and Control V there. Now I have three layers of stuff, and I, I kind of want. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and merge those. We'll say Merge Visible over here. Merge Visible. Now all three of those are on one layer. I can turn them all off at once. Now they all have hard edges that might show up when the color, the white balance changes in Premiere. So I'm going to soften these edges with an eraser. I've got about 121 pixel little uh, erase thing there. I'm going to real gently go across that just so it has a, a soft edge that doesn't show up so much as a hard line when, when, when things might shift just slightly in Premiere. Do the same thing here. Let's just get rid of a little bit of that edge. And same thing over here, get rid of a little bit of that edge too. Alright, so now we've got kind of a soft edged Photoshop uh, overlay. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the background here. I don't really want that anymore. So I'm going to delete it. Yes. I'm going to save this as Wall Fix 2. File, save. Now, okay. Now I'm going to go back to Premiere. And I'm going to Pull that Photoshop file in, while fixed, to open. Okay, we're going to let it come in. As we can see, it has like an alpha on it. Pull this across. And there are my wall fixes. Now we don't have the, uh, the ugliness over here or over here or up here. As we pull across, it might change just subtly, but we don't see the edges. So now the wall's all cleaned up and it looks much better. So now uh, we're at a point where I can go ahead and, and cut this piece of video. Anytime I cut it, I can cut the top here too. It's going to stay the same. I don't think anywhere Dr. Hayes' shoulder or anything goes across that mask. If I turn the mask off, we can see we have the wall stuff, the dirtiness on the walls, and we have the little thing on there. So that's cool. That's a good way to, uh, to do some nice little fixes. Uh, in Adobe Premiere uh, for your edits uh, to kind of clean up the video and make it look a little better as well. Hope this helps.